with the diameter of your front side circle you determine how wide the ring of light is between the bull's eye and the front side. How much light you see with a ring of a certain size depends among other things on the length of your sideline and the illumination of the target. Because this topic is discussed a lot in practice and often not really realized optimally, we will try another approach here. To do this, we enlarge the actual target image down to the level of the individual photoreceptors of your eye. The target image reaches the background of the eyeball through the black opening in the iris. This projection falls on the fovea, which has a diameter of only about 2 millimeters and is equipped with about 3000 photoreceptors. Only in this narrow network that we really see accurately and sharply. The black disc of the air rifle target takes up about 50% of the circular area. The ring side reaches the outer limits of the central visual surface. The actual aiming process is performed by the illuminated cells between the two black figures. The bright area between the disc and the ring creates the perception that you perceive as the target image. An illuminated ring with a thickness of about eight visual cells communicates the position of the center to your brain. When the ring reaches a regular distance, the target image is correct. Any irregularity signals a misalignment of the ring. Yet the target image we actually see is by no means as sharp and clear as the images here. The visual acuity of the human eye is limited. At best, it delivers images of this quality. The raster of visual cells produces jacked contours that are never really symmetrical. Those who have less good eyes or inadequate glasses have to recon with a far more indistinct impressions. So we have to put up with a more or less precise target image, but it's worth experimenting with the contrast ring size and ring widths. Then you gain the optimum of precision from the limited image quality.